Mario Party 9 is for the forwarding game players. If you want an opposite attraction of glimpsing shooters and dancing music rhythm games such as DJ Hero 2, then this game is for you! And it's a whole different setting than Mario Party Multiplayer Series! So let's head over to the Hot Sauce Gameplay. The gameplay is a headline of satisfaction if you like puzzles, weird out of control minigames. I mean, seriously. If that was me, I would forfeit right away. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great experience, and you get a total of eight boards. Not a bad section if you ask me. The boards are some tedious, some are actually fun, than other Mario parties. That says something, and triumphantly, that's very special in my video game But You get a horror castle, and some others that will make you go wacky and nuts on bonkers. They do have different modes to ravel your memory and fun playability. So gather up and start your engine, because you're driving in a car now. And other pretty nifty movie things. I'd rather stick with this method than going around the board like a circle of monkey on crack. Sorry for being random, but it's the dynamical truth. Set the lives out in the open, because it's going to be entertaining all over again. So I give Mario Party 9 a 10.0 for gameplay, because you have boss battles to go through and other amazing travels. And eye candy. Secrets! The next one. Hot Sauce storyline and involves a centrical feel to the galaxy and new Super Mario Brothers series. So pretty much I think it's nifty that they set the mini games over with the new Super Mario Brothers of feeling and the galaxy series effect. I mean you're even fighting Bowser at the end. Not a bad idea at all, Nintendo. So as you can tell from the past Mario series, they acknowledge that Bowser is still in stars. But what kind of stars? Is it the yellow ones that are brightful? No. They're called Mini Games this new. And it's your job to get them back. So get ready for the ultimate story. Well, not really. I mean, it's really focused on the gameplay. So I'll give it a whirl of a 9.5. Story. Not to be so harsh, but I'm a Nintendo fan. I'm proud of being one! <laughs> the next difficulty, yes, it's hard as heck. What do you mean it's hard as hell? Get rank. If you're not good at the minigame, you may have a tough time, but the boards get all luck based on you, which means the slots are dice so you can be luckier than a heaven's mama trying to reach you out of the spanking hell. Yes, it has a very touch of luckiness. <gasps> and I'm not kidding. You may be a pro, but I tried it like 10 freaking times. It was a tough outbreak to beat these computer opponents. Plus <laughs> they actually do throw um, a punch and they even added a timeline of special modes. Like a zooming one, where all the chaos begins. And hit your spiky ass in the pit. <laughs> so I give it a 9.5. Not bad. My final conclusion is buy the self mandatory game. It will be hip. Trust me. Or just stay up all night. And then you'll get the monster and drink on that motherfucking liquid. This game is for you. Thanks, guys. The game will be out tomorrow as we speak. Go buy it now, or you might get eaten by a chain chop. Seriously!